So guys, that was remembrance of a uh, Pastor Mrs. Ibidu Igodalo, who died last year, June, at, on the 14th of uh, 2021. Guys, today, family and where we shall gather together to remember this beautiful, lovely lady who passed on last year, June. A lot of people and family today prayed for her and also the little daughter, guys, also pray for her mom and sing for her mom. Wow. In fact, my people will now go see all the full details inside this video. A lot of people give their condolences to this beautiful woman of God. This woman, they talk, say she live a very good life and also she be mother of two and also she live behind a gorgeous husband and a mother of 69 years old. Hmm. May God Almighty just console the family. May God continue to console them. Although it's one year today, but at least nobody where they lose somebody where they forget like that. This gorgeous woman win the heart of a lot of Nigerians today, guys. As everyone gathered together to remember this woman had one year dismissed. Oh God. So my people learn very shortly. I go leave you now and I go watch the video. This very woman, guys, she's gorgeous and also she be mother of two. This now the beautiful kids, guys, when she live behind. And also the picture where they come again, now the picture of the gorgeous husband, the humble husband where in live behind, now him be this son. In fact, today, tears roll down, my people, as people gather again to remember her, Today, all the family, the well wisher, the church member, my people, it was a real sad day for the family of Igodalo. May God Almighty continue to rest her peace. And the next picture, guys, where they come, now the mother, when he live also, the mother is 69 years old, when he still live. So may God Almighty console them, may God continue to at least bless and keep them because it's not really easy to lose a loved ones, guys. No matter how old or how young that person might be, guys, it's not really easy to lose somebody who is so special to your heart, you know. So, you know, just easy. And again, guys, I really feel for the two kids where in just live behind. But I believe, say, by the grace of God, the kids are okay. The husband too, they okay and also every one of their family they okay but it's a day to remember this beautiful woman because she is a blessing and also a source of blessing to the family to all the church member of pastor igodalu so guys very shortly now i'm going to leave you to watch the full video of the uh remembrance service guys which hold uh, that was a uh, on the 14th of uh, june 2021 so my people i won't say i will see you now again on my next video don't forget to put on your notification bell to get all the g's guys as they land on this channel see you all on my next video enjoy the video to the end peace
King of Kings, the Lord of the Lords. Thank the Almighty, the giver of life, and the taker of life. We praise His holy name for giving each and every one of us a rare opportunity to come forth even in this very difficult time. But to continue to thank Him. Because the Lord says, in all things, there was no condition. In all things, we should give thanks. And so we thank God. We praise His name. We worship His name. We adore His name for giving us even the fullness of today. For making it possible for each and every one of us to be here in this wonderful sanctuary. To acknowledge that there is no one. There is no one but our Lord Jesus. And so I want to thank you. And I want to ask that even as we come here today, let's continue to be full of thanksgiving and praise in our hearts. I bring you greetings from my family, my wife, who is not here, my brother, the deputy governor, and everyone in the government of Lagos State to join in prayers uh, and to express our uh, best wishes. And said, to be absent from the body is to be present with the body. In this we all take great comfort and suffer. And therein we have the consolation of Christ. My dear brother, Mr. Kitwa, thank you for demonstrating how grace is able to bear with the sovereignty of God. And how you've illustrated for us continuity being immovable and always abounding in the work of the Lord, even when we suffer such tremendous bereavement as the passing to glory. 